Hello, everybody. Good night. Good night. Have a nice night. It's like amending things. What's going on here? Hello, everybody. How are we tonight? All the new members. I'm excited to see you guys in here today. Um, just kind of give you guys a little minute to pop on. If you're catching the replay, welcome to the replay. Give me a hashtag replay. It's what we do in this group. Um, so I'm excited for tonight. Uh, usually I go live at 3 p.m. Tonight it's 8 p.m. just because the full moon is um, happening tomorrow. The full moon is in Pisces. And I did do a YouTube video, uh, got it out a little bit late, um, but it is up, it is up, you can see the message. And one of the cards that I pulled in this video I'm gonna be speaking about tonight as I walk you through a full moon ritual. So let me know in the comments, if you guys are here, I love participation, your energy drives my energy. So if you can participate, I would love it. Um, let me know, like, have you ever done full moon rituals before? Have you ever even, um, you know, notice the full moon and notice the energy that it can bring around you. Hi, Annette. So let me know in the comments if you guys have done full moon rituals before. Hi, Lisa. And also be aware that the full moon is all about releasing. That's why we're doing a releasing ritual tonight. Um, you know, there's all different types of rituals. I'm just going to play tonight. We're just going to kind of go with what I feel, let my intuition drive us. Um, and see where we go. So definitely get a pen and a piece of paper because you are going to be writing some stuff down. Even if you don't like journaling, you can write one worded answers. You don't have to write a lot of stuff, um, but we are going to be using that in our ritual. So definitely make sure you have that available to you. And if you're catching the replay, get that too. Um, if you're catching the replay, Full moon energy and new moon energy, three days before, three days after. So even if you're catching this, tomorrow is the full moon, September 2nd. Um, depending where you are, it's different times. If you're in a different time zone, it could be a different day. But for where I am, it's coming in um, early in the morning. Um, I'm in New York. So um, definitely, you know, you can still use this, I would say probably four days even afterwards. So don't feel like you missed it. If you're catching the replay, if you're just joining the group, it's okay, everything is okay. So Annette said, never did full moon ritual, but I always watch and photograph the moon. I love it, I need to get a better camera to photograph the moon. I feel like my camera doesn't do it justice most of the time. Emily, I cannot tell you how much I need this right now. So excited, thank you, awesome. Linda says, I missed you, hi Linda. I know, I miss you. Did you see Reiki Vault? We're going back to eight o'clock, Monday nights. So hopefully you can um, join us there. I know when I went, uh, I don't know, COVID, all the time, switches, crazy. All right, so we've got a bunch of you guys on here. Like I said, I'm excited. Please participate. If I ask you questions, please don't be shy. This is a very safe community. It's a private group. Nobody else is seeing what you're writing except the people in this group. Okay, so the card that I pulled today, and I've got candles, if you have to have a crystal, like if you're really doing this, if you're like really all in with me here, you can see I got candles in the back. Um, you can light a candle by you. I would definitely get a crystal if you have them, get a water bottle if you have it as well. Um, you don't have to go frantic like getting all these things, but if you do have them just laying around, go ahead and use them tonight, okay? I'm gonna tell you what to do with them in order to really use this energy of the full moon. Hi, Charlotte from Boise. Stacy, hello, Marsha, hello, ladies. I'm excited. All right, so in the full moon reading that I did on YouTube today, I got these, I don't know if you guys have ever heard this, but I'm gonna be talking about this in the Facebook group um, a lot. I do go live every Tuesday, so you know, you'll see me. But um, there's a book called The Four Agreements. And I got the cards, like I never even knew that they had cards. So I got the Oracle deck and um, I'm freaking loving these cards. Like they're so beautiful. They like have like this on one side and then the, the message on the other side. And one of the cards that I pulled out here, which is one of the four agreements, which is don't make assumptions. So we're gonna be talking about that tonight because I think that um, sometimes our assumptions really drains our energy. And I'll tell you a little bit of a story about me. Like, you know, my ex, you know, I was with this girl and like, I'm assuming, I'm making the assumption. And when I read this book, I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> I was making the assumption that like, you know, he was not spending time with his kids because he was always with her. And like, even though I feel like I know that that's probably like 90% true, like it was still an assumption. So basically, 
you know, when we make assumptions, we think we know, okay? Um, we feel like we know what people are doing. I just wrote some notes so I can get this all to you guys. We know what people are doing, thinking, saying about us, and like we dream things up in our heads. And that type of energy gets us really low vibration. So with this full moon, we're gonna be talking about assumptions, we're gonna be talking about a couple other things, but I wanted to read this card to you if you haven't checked out the full moon on the YouTube. Um, making assumptions is set um, is set a setup for suffering because we usually gossip about our assumptions. We make assumptions and believe we are right. Then we defend our assumptions and try to make others wrong. It's so true, right? When we make an assumption that we know how somebody is feeling or what they're doing, it's like, that drains our energy because we get so angry, we don't understand it. And this is especially true with, with narcissists, right? Um, and it lowers our vibration rather than, you know, letting it go and just being like, you know what, I really don't know. So why am I going to focus on that? Well, can I, can I focus on something else? And that's kind of like what we're going to be talking about tonight. So I'm really going to bring you, going to ask these questions for you to really dig deep tonight. Okay. So... Um, some of the assumptions that I wrote down that I think I went through and like maybe you guys can resonate with this is especially dealing with narcissists and toxic relationships is that someone will change. I had the assumption that, you know, okay, you know, the, the longer we go in this marriage, like things will change. And I just had that assumption. Um, also, someone is lying or telling the truth. So like you just assume someone is telling you the truth with kind of like, being uh, a little bit naive around it. So this is where we notice the red flags. This is where we set our boundaries and not just let people walk all over us because, you know, we assume that they're telling us the truth, but we also assume that people are lying. So therefore we also have to get over that too. Um, also, this is a big thing. This is a big thing for everybody. Let me know if you guys resonate with this. I assume that the way my husband was treating me was because of what he went through. That was like a huge one for me, right? Where it's like, um, you know, his, his, unfortunately his father passed away when my daughter was six months old. And I was like, you know, okay, he's treating me like this because he's hurting from his father, which was an assumption on me. He didn't say this, but that was an assumption that I had. So these assumptions can keep us stuck in relationships that don't serve us any longer, okay? Powering off. Oh no, we gotta put that back on. Um, and then also you assume that you know how someone feels. Now this also goes along with projection. Battery is full. And especially like for me when- we... Ready to pair. Sorry, my Bluetooth speaker, guys. Paraging. <laughs> she just likes to talk to me. Um, Paired. We're good? We're good. Hold on, let me play some music so that uh, she doesn't go off again. Okay, so um, I assumed I knew how my children were feeling from the breakup, from the divorce. I assumed that. And when I assumed that, I assumed they were feeling the way that I felt when my parents got divorced. And that's a projection, but it's an assumption as well. So these assumptions will really bring down our energy. So who can relate to this? Are you guys on board with me with what I'm talking about here? Krista says, I'm so guilty of this. Nancy says, I'm so excited for this ritual. Yes. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you through a little bit of um, a breathing exercise, I guess, right? So let's do breathing because I really want you to connect to your intuition tonight. I really want you to be able to get the answers that you are desperately seeking or what you desperately need to let go of. And sometimes our ego thinks we know what we need to let go of, but we need to, you know, get in touch with our intuition so that we can really get the answers. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do an energy healing around the answers that you got to release that. And then I'm going to tell you what to do with the piece of paper that you got in front of you. So make sure you have a piece of paper. Let me know. Say yes in the comments if you got a piece of paper. Let me know you're on board with me tonight. Because you can't just think something because you got to realize something, right? When you think something, the ego is right, like automatically just going to think of something else right after that. But when you take the time to write it out and when you physically see it, there's an emotional connection. I can't explain it. I'm not a psychiatrist, but there's an emotional connection that happens when you actually write something down. Um, I remember writing something to a coach of mine where I was like, 
I was like writing and then all of a sudden I just started bawling. So definitely please, if you are all in with me tonight, make sure you write the answers to these questions down. Okay, are we ready? All right, so make sure if you can to have no distractions, make sure you're in a quiet room if you can. I know we've got kids and stuff. Tell them to watch the TV for a little bit. Just take this time for you. This is your time to relax and to really connect to yourself, to your higher self, and to release what needs to be released. So definitely, please try to make sure that you've got a quiet environment going on. And when you are ready, go ahead and close your eyes. All right, take a deep breath in. And go ahead and let it out. Give your body a nice stretch here. Go ahead and take another deep breath in. Let all of the stress, all of the energy of the day just melt right off of you. You don't have nothing to do right now except be here, be present. Go ahead and let that out. Go ahead and take another deep breath in. Feel all that positive energy coming back to you now. A safe space. Just you and your higher self. Go ahead and let it out. And I want you to take a deep breath in. Hold it for two seconds. And then go ahead and let it out. Another deep breath in. Any worries that you have, any stress, any thoughts, they're not needed right now. It's just you and your body. Go ahead and let it out. One more time, take a deep breath in. And go ahead and let it out. Now, before you open your eyes, I'm going to ask you one question and then we'll continue on. So after everything that I said about assumptions, I want you to think about right now, what assumptions are you making about yourself, about people in your life? What assumptions are holding you back, are draining your energy because the time you focus on them, the time you talk about them, what are they? And then when you have that, go ahead and open your eyes and write that down on a piece of paper. All right, the next question I'm gonna do, I want you to close your eyes again. Now, your intuition is the first thing that comes to mind. So whatever it is that comes to mind, that's what I want you to write down because your intuition is a little bit whisper. And when that comes in, you feel something, you hear something, you see something, that's what I want you to write down right now. Anything after that does not matter because that's gonna be your ego. So the intuition is anything that you feel, hear, see, know, um, did I get them all? Uh, yeah. So anything that comes into you like that, I just want you to write that down when I ask you the next question. So go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And I want you to ask yourself, What is your intuition telling you you need to let go of? First thing that comes to mind, is it a person, a 
job, a feeling, a relationship, friendship. All right, go ahead and close your eyes again. Take a deep breath in. Go ahead and let that out. We're gonna go a little deeper here. Give your body a nice stretch again. Connect to your body, feel your body. Be very, very present with yourself right now. There's nowhere else you need to be. There's nothing else you need to think of. Go ahead and take another deep breath in. What do you feel is holding you back? Go ahead and write that down. First thing that comes to mind, that's your intuition. Might seem silly, might seem confusing, just write it down. Anything that comes up for you around what we're asking, just write it down. Okay, go ahead and close your eyes again. There's gonna be a yes or no question here. First thing that comes to mind, go ahead and take a deep breath in. From the question before, what is holding you back? Are you ready to let go of it? Yes or no? What comes to you? And then go ahead and close your eyes again. And take a deep breath in. If the answer was no, why not? What are you scared of? And they're saying, if your answer is yes, like really dive deep into that. You might say, the ego might say, yes, I'm ready to let go of this, but are you really inside ready to let go? Is there anything you're scared of letting go? These are the subconscious beliefs that we have that keep us stuck from manifesting what we want. Are you scared of something? And it might seem silly, like there's there's fear of success. So like even if you're trying to succeed in something, there might be some fear around that. You know, fear of making money. If people, uh, if you make a lot of money, people might not like you. There's so many things that can come up for you. So whatever it is, just go ahead and write it down. I'm gonna give you a minute on that one. All right, go ahead and close your eyes. It's gonna be the last question. Go ahead and take a deep breath in.
What can you do to prepare yourself for letting go of what is holding you back? And again, first answer. Sometimes that can look like gaining strength. It could look like working out to become stronger, to get our mind in the right place. It could be distancing yourself from somebody so it'd be easier to make that break. It could be finding your voice with your throat chakra to be able to have the communication and the talks that you need to have with somebody. It can look like anything. All right, guys, so how'd you do? Let me know in the comments before we move on. Did a lot of stuff come up for you? going to pull a card for us see what comes up strength strength comes up it says courage open heart so we need the strength to let go of things that no longer serve us and I'll tell you why because our ego this is why I said to listen to the first thing that comes up for you because our ego is always going to try to keep us safe. It's always going to try to keep us comfortable. But we need our strength to know that we don't need to be comfortable. My favorite saying that I use in all my courses is get comfortable with being uncomfortable. It's the best thing you can do on life because I say life lives on the other side of uncomfortableness. So the more that you can be uncomfortable, the stronger you are. Right? The stronger you are, that you can let go and be uncomfortable because letting go of people that are toxic in our, in our environment, letting go of jobs that we're unhappy in, letting go of fear that we have inside of us, like that is very uncomfortable. Claudia says, oh my God, I'm still judging people. Yeah, right? And we have to, this is why full moon rituals are good, sorry, asking all the right questions because we don't really reflect too much in our lives. We just kind of like go along the way. And until someone is like, wait a minute, think about this. You're like, oh man, like seriously, right? So, but gaining the strength. So I love that the strength card came out for us tonight because that strength is what's going to push you through. That strength, thank you for all the hearts, um, will, you know, um, will really kind of make you see who you are. So even if you feel like you don't have that strength, especially if you're after toxic relationships because they beat you down, right? They beat you down and you feel like you don't have that strength, but you do, it is in there. It's always in there and you've got to pull from it to move forward. So whatever was holding you back, thank you guys. Uh, whatever was holding is holding you back, um, you know, you have the strength to push through it. You really do. Even if you're devastated, I, believe me, I was to the point where I was picking up kids at, my, at their school. I couldn't even talk to anybody because I was emotionally a mess. But a couple years later, even one year later, two years later, right, you, you gain that strength back. It is there. So don't ever give up is what I'm hearing. Emily says, I got really emotional, but this was really helpful for me to sort my feelings and thoughts about my current situation. Good. I'm glad. Um, I think I missed somebody else. No. Claudia, you didn't miss anything, as you see. Um, Hope says, had a hard, had a hard fight with my husband, been talking about having divorce, but still can't do anything because my financial instability, because of my health. I just want to be free. Mm. You've got that strength, so keep going, girl. Uh, George Key, I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry, I missed this. Lots of love. Oh, you didn't, oh, love your readings. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Um, you missed the questions, but you can catch the replay, okay? But you can do the energy healing with us now. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to take that piece of paper. I want you to kind of just read over it really quickly um, as I prepare for our energy healing session. If you've never done energy healing with me before, all I'm really going to do is just connect to the divine energy to um, with your energy in order to release any blockages of what we're holding back and anything that's coming up for you right now to kind of just release it from you, make you feel a little bit lighter. All right, so that's what we're going to do um, right now. It's only going to be about about five minutes music, and I don't own the rights to the music, so I'm I'm hoping that Facebook is not going to mute this music, which is why I really don't do energy healings on Facebook anymore. But I'm I tried something up there, putting say I don't own the rights, so we're hoping that the music will stay for the replay. Um, so Marissa, yes, exactly. Priscilla, hard to let go of pain. Yes, yes, it is. Um, energy healing is fantastic for that. That's why I love energy healing because it releases it. It lets it go. It doesn't keep coming up and going down. It's like it just is gone. So that's what we're going to do tonight. And then after that, I'm going to talk to you about what to do with the piece of paper, also with your crystals and with your water. Okay, so just read over what you wrote and then we'll get to it. Claudia says, the answer I got was more self-love with overcome my judgment with myself and towards others. Confused about that answer, but I trust. <laughs> it was more self-love. Overcome my judgment with myself and others. Uh, I think what the message I'm getting from what you're saying is that the more that you love yourself, the less you care about others, to be honest. Like judging others and like what they're doing and everything. Because you're really only kind of focused in your own little bubble which is not like an egotistical thing, but it is like you're just living your life with love. So even with uh, people that aren't the greatest, like you can see the love inside of them, although it doesn't mean that they need to be in your life, okay? Cecilia, first time we're here. Yay! Nice to meet you too. Uh, oh, Facebook. What did I say? George Key. Oh, okay. I think we're good. Linda, I kept sneezing when you asked what's holding me back. Now I'm trying to figure that out. Oh, are you clairsentience, Linda, where you're feeling? Think about what sneezing represents for you. Does it represent anything? Does it remind you of anything? Think about that, and that could be the message that they're trying to give you. Hey guys, I have my 21 Days course starting in October 1st, if you guys are interested in that, to uh, 21 Days to Opening and Accelerating Your Psychic Abilities. So if you are interested in connecting to your intuition more and learning about the other side, you can join that. Um, the link is on my website, which is uh, www.dsdg.com. I'll put that at the end, though. All right, so let's go ahead and get to this. All right. Go ahead, and again, we're gonna get comfortable. I want you to stretch your body out a little bit more. I just want you to be really relaxed, as relaxed as you can be. You can even lay down for this. Um, you know, depending on how you're more comfortable, you don't have to sit up, you can lay down, do whatever is best for you. All right, so go ahead and close your eyes. All right, and take a deep breath in. And go ahead and let it out. And one more time, take a deep breath in. We're gonna ask your spirit guide to be around you at this time to help you and to guide you and to help you release the energy that is no longer needed within. Go ahead and let that out. We're also gonna call in Archangel Raphael, who is the healer, and also Archangel Michael, who's the Archangel um, of Protection. He also has the sword that we will help cut the energy, cut the cord with anybody that you need to be cut with. To disconnect your energy, let that out. Did I say that? <laughs> let that out. Um, we're asking Archangel Raphael and Michael to be with us tonight. So I'm going to play some music. Whatever thoughts come in, just let them come in. Let them go out. Don't try to interpret them. Try to stay focused and just be very, very present. You can picture something in between your eyebrows or just try to look inward um, to kind of stay in the present moment. Here we go.
ahead and take a deep breath in. And let it out. Go ahead and take another deep breath in. And go ahead and let it out. Give your body a nice stretch. Bring yourself back to awareness. One more deep breath in. And then go ahead and let it out. And whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. Annette said before the energy healing, need to stop obsessive, obsessive thoughts, need to learn to trust my intuition more. So many things, I can't list them all. Yeah. All right, how do you guys feel? Oh, Rhonda, I'm glad you caught it too. Yay. All right, so um, hopefully you feel a little bit lighter. You could have gotten emotional. You could have felt something. You could have saw something. Energy healing is different for everybody. You could have felt nothing, and that's okay. It still doesn't mean it didn't work, okay? Um, you also might feel some stuff ongoing for, you know, maybe the next day, maybe till the next morning. Um, yeah, that music was so sad. <laughs> Depends, I think, what you're going through. I struggled. Struggled focusing, Charlotte? Lucy says, that was wonderful. Marsha, give me a heart. To, oh, to let go. Yeah, I would do this again. So you can catch the replay, crossing my fingers that the music will come through. Um, yeah, I was emotional, so emotional. That's good. I like to hear that, <laughs> to be honest with you. Because when you're emotional during energy healing, that is a releasing emotional. It's not like a pity um, you know, it's not like a poor me type of thing. It's you're releasing it. So if you do cry, that's okay. I love to hear, I love to see the tears because I know that you're releasing something when it, when it's there. So if you were sad, that's okay too. Um, you felt it in your heart. So Megan, that might be your heart chakra, right? Could work on that. Um, I have healings like this in my Reiki vault. Again, you guys can find all the information on my website but um, I do have a lot of healings in there. So if you guys enjoyed this, the Reiki Vault would be good for you as well. Um, oh my God, so powerful. Awesome. Okay, wow, thank you. That was incredible. Tears just kept flowing. Thank you. Yeah, great, Georgie, because that's going to be a releasing. So that's really exciting. Um, Nancy says, I feel lighter. I got more clarity on what I'm letting go of. Awesome. Linda, tears, but I feel... Uh, but, the, but I feel... But the feelings, thoughts were on the right path. Okay, good. Sheila, oh my God, I felt this energy presence on my right side, holding my forearm. Then my ears started ringing, third eye tingling. Wow, awesome. Hope says I cried so much. Good. <laughs> I know that sounds really bad for me to say, but it, it really is good. <laughs> uh, Claudia says I felt my fr um, friend's pain and helped release their pain. That's nice. Marsha, I almost slept and then tears and I felt it in my hands. Annette says she's crying so much. Sheila says the Reiki vault is the best. Thank you. Um, Lisa, I cried because of the music. Kind of saw a dance routine in my thoughts. Oh, nice. Love you, ladies. Awesome. All right, good. So I'm glad that you felt something, um, anything, any little bit of anything is still good. And again, we're going to be using this uh, full moon ritual, but we're not done yet. Okay. So what I want you to do is now I want you to take that piece of paper you know, I, I said not a journal, but you can tear it out of your journal if it's in a journal, tear it out of the notebook, get that piece of paper, and I want you to fold it all up, and I want you to go outside. You can do it tonight. You can do it tomorrow. Um, again, you have three days to really do this, but I want you to take that piece of paper, and I want you to burn it, right? Light it on fire and burn it. Please do this responsibly. <laughs> do this responsibly. Um, I usually have... Um, I usually like have something like this is like what I keep my sage in, which I did sage before we came on here. But um, you can also use something like this because you can cap it and put it out. So bring water with you. Please don't start any fires. But definitely go out and burn this piece of paper because seeing this piece of paper, seeing all the things that are holding you back, the things that are lowering your vibration, 
burn and releasing that into the universe, letting the universe that you are really serious about letting go of all of this. So we want you to go out and burn that piece of paper. And then I would come back in. Um, yeah, they're not telling me to dance here. So I would come back in and kind of more reflection is what I'm hearing from them. So really kind of just take time for you to let that sink in. And I remember when I first did this, I cried my eyes out when I saw the the smoke and the flame, like the, the smoke more going into the air. So again, this is kind of like what I said about writing, like it makes a significant difference when you can see something and that emotional attachment to it, kind of letting it go. So if you struggle to let go, this is gonna be the final piece to really kind of see it be gone, see your words on a piece of paper, kind of burn up and let go, okay? Um, the other things that you can do with the full moon ritual is you can also, okay, okay, so that's what they're saying. Okay, so when you come back in, they want you to take your crystal, they want you to hold it in your right hand, I'm not sure, right hand is what I'm getting, but hold it in your right hand, and they want you to make the intention of what you wanted to let go of. So just um, really kind of secure it, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, anchor it. Anchor it. So when I say anchor it, it is basically when you hold your crystal. Now you could do this with a rock. You could do this with anything. It does not have to be a crystal. But basically just hold it in your right hand. And um, to be honest, I'm not sure which is the receiving and the giving. It really doesn't matter at this point. They're showing me the right hand. So hold it in your right hand and really just reflect on what just happened is what they're saying. <laughs> Like reflect on what happened and put the intention in whatever you're holding. Every time you hold it, like anchor that feeling. The anchor is the feeling that you get when you're holding this rock to feel that let, letting go, to feel powerful, like kind of taking control back because you're letting go of it and to anchor that in so that now moving forward, every time you hold this crystal or whatever it is for you, you're going to remember the feeling that you had when you did this the first time. Okay, so do that with your crystal, with whatever you have, um, if you don't have a crystal, all right? But put the intention of the anchor into the crystal so that you remember the feeling of how good this felt tonight to let go, to see this burn, to see the energy release, okay? Just anchor that in with this. So anytime you have a trigger or something to come back to um, or something that kind of ignites you, then you want to go back to the anchor with this crystal. Okay. The other thing that you can do, and I'll read those comments in a second, is put your crystals out, obviously underneath, like on the windowsill, underneath the full moon uh, light. Even if you can't see it, that's fine. The full moon energy is out there. You can also put a bottle of water out on your windowsill. Um, let it energize with the moon. You can keep it out there for a couple of days, right? I put my crystals, I put my Reiki crystals out there. Um, for the full moon energy to recharge and really kind of absorb the energy and then I use them and then I will drink the water as well. So those are just a couple other little things that you can do for full moon rituals. But this was an example of a full moon ritual I do. I don't know what other people do, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, Charlene says, you tuned in at the right time. Absolutely. Charlene, thank you. I'm in the process of letting things go and trusting the process of my own instinct. Love and light. Yes, that's awesome. George Key says, yes, full moon ritual. I did this last month and I'm writing, my writing on paper was, <clears throat> I let go of the world, pain, body of others, the world and myself and I celebrate my life and I manifest all that the universe has installed for me. Awesome. I love that. It's very good. Awesome. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave it at that because the full the new moon is more about affirmations and stuff like that. But tonight is really about being gaining clarity as to what the assumptions are you're making in your life that are draining your energy and holding you back. What is holding you back? What are you scared of? Um, and are you ready to release what is holding you back? Okay, so I hope this was good for you. Um, again, you can, oh, let me put this in there for you just so you guys can check this out. Um, hopefully this will work because I'm... Um, not putting yeah so that's my website if you guys want to check it out like I said the 21 days course is opening October 1st it's 21 days with me um, really learning how to connect to the other side connect to your intuition learning all about your clairs and your psychic abilities 
Okay, and then also, what else did I tell you? Oh, the Reiki Vault is also on there. You can check it all out, okay? All right, much love to everybody. I wanna kind of leave you reflecting and be able to give you some time to go burn that outside. And um, I hope you really enjoyed this. Stephanie says, this is my first full moon ritual and first energy healing session. I feel amazing beyond words. Awesome, yay, that's always my goal. Uh, go check it out, y'all. Yes, thank you, Sheila. All right, much love to all of you. I'll see you next week. Bye.